How's it going everyone? My name is Jake with Trade Confident and today I'm going to be talking about why you should always use multiple confirmation indicators when making your trades. I'm going to show you why it is so important today. This isn't going to be the same as the trend exhaustion and price versus well money flow video in combination with the TC top and bottom finder, but that video is coming very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that. Before we get started, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It greatly helps out our channel. We provide crypto content education and analysis every single weekday. And if you have any suggestions for any other educational content or tutorials you'd like to see, please just leave a comment down below and I'll be responding to you on the daily. Thanks so much for watching in advance. Let's get started. So today I don't actually have any news for you. The crypto markets as a community itself has been fairly quiet today and honestly over the past week, so that's generally good. It just means that we get some classic technical analysis for today. Right now I'm looking at APUSD on tradeconfident.io, checking out the TC top and bottom finder and market reversal metrics. These were last updated August 30th, just this morning. Now you'll see here that, they, that it has posted an official buy signal. Because the candle has closed, it's the second candle on the chart right here. It is an official buy signal. However, there is no confirmation down here. A confirmation would look like green bars similar to this immediately under the candle. It does not have that confirmation and therefore this buy signal is not valid. And I'm gonna to talk to you why this is important right now. Of all the coins, 15 of them have posted buy signals within the last five days. And with this, not a single one of them, not one, had an official validation from another indicator. Because of this, these were not official buy signals. They were not validated, they were not good calls because they did not have validation from another indicator. Now I know I keep repeating this, but I really need you guys to understand, when looking for a trade, you should always have validation because validated buy signals will almost always result in a better trade than a buy signal without one. I can't guarantee that a buy signal without a validation won't win, but it is much more likely to win if there are multiple indicators showing that it is a good buy. Next, I'm gonna show you another instance of why this is. Let's head over the actual trading view charts themselves. Right now, I'm looking at Bitcoin USD on the four hour time frame. The reason I'm looking at Bitcoin here is because most of the crypto market is going to follow the moves of Bitcoin. Bitcoin has a massive market cap. It has a huge lead over just about every other coin in the market with the second being Ethereum, but most coins are gonna follow the price action of Bitcoin. Um, as you can see, we actually have an open buy signal. This is not official yet because the candle has not closed, but you can see despite being low on the TC top and bottom finder, the trend exhaustion and price versus well money flow are actually in their middle sections. This shows that we are not near a market reversal that is expected by these indicators and therefore likely not near the bottom. However, a buy signal right here on the four hour actually was good. The trend exhaustion price versus well money flow was low and it actually end up, ended up making profit right here. However, right now, this does not appear to be a good buy signal. Personally, if I were looking to trade this, I would wait until the trend exhaustion and price versus well money flow are in their bottom sections and then look for a buy signal, ideally very close to this green bottom edge right here. Once you see that, this is where it's likely gonna be a very good trade. Now this is similar to what I'm going to be talking about in the tutorial video. The tutorial video though is going to go significantly more in depth, so please stay tuned for that. Just to double check Bitcoin on the daily time frame here, uh, trend exhaustion is nearing its top red territories while the price versus well money flow is actually still considered in its bottom territory. It is below or at 30 right now. That is right around when you're usually gonna be looking for a move up. Now we do have a lot of room to move up while the trend exhaustion is moving up. So we actually could see some pretty big moves. The first resistance that we're gonna meet is at about 21,500. This is a really strong resistance and it's the closest one to the actual price right now. If we get through that, the next stop is around 22,500 as it is again, the next resistance level. Finally, the third resistance level to take a look at is going to be about 24,000. This $24,000 resistance comes from the very top of the uptrend that started in mid-June. Uh, we are in an official downtrend now. You can also tell this from the midline. We're below the midline on the TC top and bottom finder. And because of this, we can consider this an official downtrend. If we do reach this $24,000 move, it will be 
about a 21% move. And I have to say that is a lot considering the low trade volume that we're seeing. I do think that 21,500 to 22,500 is likely a more reasonable bet at the moment. Uh, but again, there is no official buy signals. None of the buy signals have been validated. So again, I would hesitate to take any trades at this moment. I personally will not be. Thanks so much for checking in everyone. I really, really appreciate you viewing the video. Now, if you, if you liked what you saw in this video, if you liked the indicators and the trading tools, head over to the link in the description. It'll bring you over to tradeconfident.io. You're gonna see the scalping tutorial right here. You're gonna check our scalping record. We just won a new trade very, very recently. So you can check that out here. You can watch our strategy video and get an idea of how we like to trade and see if that's gonna work for you. From there, you can click this link to grab the membership. You'll get access to all trade calls, master classes, the community chat, and live coaching every single month. We just had a brand new live Zoom meeting last Thursday. We had a ton of fun with you guys. So if you want to catch the next one, please be sure to grab the membership. From there, you're going to join our Telegram channel. This is where you're going to get all the company and trade updates from Trade Confident. It is super important that you join this telegram as it really, really helps up your trading game. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Again, if you want to join us, the links are in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, trade safe, trade confident, and I'll see you in the next video.